So we're bringing the kids out here today for a uh, land-based education. So the, the purpose of the trip is to teach them hunting skills. And then once hopefully we get an animal down to show them the processing skills, we want them to be able to walk away from here uh, knowing how to skin and process big game. We spotted it by the edge of the shoreline. We started kind of stocking up with the truck to get a little bit more closer, but lucky for us, it was kind of coming more towards us. We're gonna have to go, go around there. We got out and walked, but then as we approached like the edge of the shoreline from the south, uh, the moose was gone. I think he might be there. It's come on. Lean against this tree right here. Take him now. And so Carlin said you had a, it was a great shot. It was clean, the moose went right down. How did that make you feel? That made me feel really confident and proud of myself of like keep dropping it in one shot instead of missing it and then chasing after it and then missing and then chasing after it. Should be just, there it is. Good job, buddy. Got it, girls. I was like kind of happy. <clears throat> Nice. Kind of sad a little, just a little bit, just for taking a, out a life right like that wanted, that could probably live for like so many years. Good job, buddy. Congrats. And you had to take it, but it's, Good it's job. meat now. Okay. Now, so everybody gets their own knives. It's important that we are able to go harvest these animals and take them back to the community. So we will give the meat to the elders, which we've been doing all year through the, through the initiative. We're giving the fish, the meat to the elders, and then a lot of the meat will also go to the school. It makes me feel really happy that we can give meat to like our community and like feed all the kids around our res. Because some people can't, don't, kind of don't have access to like lots of money and like go buy lots of meat. I learned gutting, gutting fast, and skinning, and shooting it in the right place. You learn in their cultural, traditional way of hunting, being in a positive outdoor environment, being in a positive social setting. We do some workshops with the kids, um, some motivational stuff, uh, educational health and wellness. Today, thinking about how happy these kids are to be out here and how excited they were and watching them um, do this is pretty, uh, for me to be able to do something that I love, teach these kids these skills and uh, see all the positive results, I'm pretty happy.